Welcome to another session with Trial Join. Uh, in this session, we're going to be covering informed consent and IRB requirements defined by the FDA. The first one is research sites must obtain consent forms which are in compliance with the FDA Part 21 CRF 50 and 56. So in case you want to look these up, Google and you should find them pretty quickly. Uh, you have to obtain IRB approval of the informed consent prior to implementing the consent form with any patients. So before you start the study and you start enrolling and randomizing patients, make sure your consent form is IRB approved. You may have to discuss it with your sponsors because they may have prior um, forms that are prior consent forms that are approved. So definitely discuss it with them. <clears throat> Obtain informed consent forms before enrolling any patient to study which is one of the fundamentals so you can't get a patient unless you make them sign a consent form um, and of course this consent form as a previous point noted has to be IRB approved. Always make sure that the patients understand the language in the consent form. Uh, if they're a foreigner you may have to find one that's within their language uh, whether that's Spanish, French or one of the few more common ones within the United States. Definitely figure out how you can make them understand it and that way uh, there's no issues with you or the consent form or the study. We don't want you getting any audits later on. And then make sure the language in the consent form should never attempt to waive or appear to waive any of the subject's rights. Remember, the GCP really looks towards preserving a patient's right and so do IRBs and so does the whole industry. So we want to make sure that it should never look to waive those rights. Um, we hope some of these tips are helpful uh, and these FDA guidelines do help you in understanding a little bit more about the clinical research space. And if you have any further questions, feel free to send us an email, shoot us a message on YouTube, or reach out to us on LinkedIn or any of the many other social media channels that are out there. We thank you for your time and watching and hope to see you in the next session. Bye.